up in Kansas City, I'm presuming you grew up a Chiefs fan? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man. You know, without a doubt. So what is it like playing for the Broncos now, both teams obviously very successful, the Broncos-Chiefs rivalry? Man, you know, it's a blast for me, uh, to be honest, because I get to come home and play in Arrowhead Stadium. Now, growing up as a kid, doing all football games at Arrowhead, to, to be able to come home and play in Arrowhead Stadium against the Chiefs, knowing that everybody that's watched me play from, from this high is going to be watching me and, and seeing, you know, what is this kid from Kansas City going to do? That's amazing to me because I know in my mind I'm going to come out, I'm going to try to ball everyone, every game against the Chiefs. As much as my family, like, oh, don't beat the Chiefs. I come out here every game to try to beat the Chiefs as bad as I can. But it's because I want to show the pride that we have in our city and our athletes. And, and that's what it comes down to. And obviously when you were in college, even high school, Jamal Charles played a big part in the Chiefs. Switched over, now a member of the Broncos. How has that transition been for him, you know, in the first few weeks of offseason over, over in Denver? You know, it's really fun uh, to have Jamal there. Uh, I think he's top two Chiefs running backs of all time. And he was my welcome to the league moment. I think everybody has that. Welcome to the NFL, and I remember playing the Kansas City Chiefs and Jamal Charles hit probably like a, uh, I think it was like a 40-yard run zone play, and it was on me and like two other guys, but to have him on my team now, knowing what his capabilities are, and to, to see um, how excited he is in our structure, to see how his rehab is going, I'm excited for him as a player to get back into the group and uh, enjoy his new opportunity as a Broncos.